Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and today it's a mega haul from MXR and also welcome to the weekend it's wonderful Friday so I'm just going to get stuck straight in and if I know what they are I'll tell you so first up this character here is the Lion Man from The Wizard of Oz Next up, we've got a little teddy bear aviator there sitting in an aeroplane. And where I can find these, I will link them individually. Here's an awesome one. We have a thank you. I have done a couple of cards using um, a similar round sentiment die. And I will measure those on the projects that I've done. Trying really hard not to drop the box on my lap here. But you get sentiments also on the inside. And this one is, ooh, who knows? I think it's happy birthday. Yeah, it is. It's happy birthday. That's the um, script sentiment inside of that thank you circle. And then, grabbing a handful, we have a rabbit in his little overalls. Can make a wonderful garden scene with that and plant all the carrots in the dirt below. Just use a piece of brown cardstock. We have a fabulous little party bear and I am going to be up next week twice probably with more projects from this haul. We have a parachuting rabbit. We have a pig in a tutu. Pigs are a theme I think this year for uh, MXR. We have a cute little birthday elephant there with a balloon. We have a little, what looks like a koala bear with a little nightcap sleeping on a crescent moon. Then we have a gorgeous bumblebee. That's a really nice one for Valentine's Day or spring. And then we've got cakes. Look at the size of those. I'm going to do several of these next week because they're super easy. You can see just how big those pieces are these are going to fill a slimline die with a sentiment so that's one of them here's another one where you've got a sort of rope design and it's standing on a plate here we have a is that a para, paragliding I don't know what it is it's a different shape sort of parachute and that's got a rabbit as well and then we have a gorgeous unicorn in a tutu with ballet shoes and then we have a Merry Christmas as the round sentiment die. And because I didn't know what the script was, I actually cut it out and it says Easter eggs. So, you know, not that it relates to the actual season, but they're very useful uh, little sentiments that are coming on the inside. And then we have an elephant sleeping on a ball. We've got a little rabbit and an egg. I've got a little rabbit that looks like he's sleeping on top of an egg. I've got a bear that looks fast asleep on a little puffy cloud. I've got another rabbit with egg. I've got this gorgeous looking little dog here in a t-shirt. Perfect for birthday or Valentine's. Another rabbit that looks like it's leaping over an egg. And I've got a rabbit here that looks like it might have a little basket or something. I'm going to have to make those. Very simple again, because if you look, it's just four little pieces in there. And then you've got the little nose that you cut in pink. Here I've got a rabbit that's painting the Easter eggs. And then I've got this gorgeous dinosaur that's got a piece of melon. Fabulous for the summer. And then we have a pretty teapot, all the lid and spout separate so that you can do it in great colours. We have another cute elephant sitting there with her butterflies. Another elephant sitting there in what looks like a little swimming costume or something. And there's also a leaf. Oh, lots of elephants. We've got a party elephant in a little tutu party hat and bow. We have a little elephant with a crescent moon. I hope you all like elephants. And then we've got gorgeous Easter rabbits with eggs. Fabulous size. 
another little rabbit with egg and then we've got a gorgeous unicorn in a tutu again we've got a ballet theme going on another little rabbit who's sitting in a, a little cracked egg we have a hippopotamus in a tutu who doesn't need one of those and then we have a little bear in his little canoe and he looks like he's got a little fishing hat or something or a sailor hat and then we have a collection of rabbits on their carrots ah now we have gnomes nice easy one another gnome this time with a chevron pattern on the hat another gnome with a stripy hat and here we've got a gorgeous little pig in his little starry hat with all his stars and i think that's a christmas one i'll have to look at the website spread these out so they don't hit the camera lens here we have an elephant in his little onesie with a big long sleep hat cute little uh, rabbit there who looks like he's hugging a cloud of course you can stamp a little sentiment in there and just pop that down on his tummy then we have a happy easter rabbit i think that rabbit actually stands on top of the egg so that's a nice one for a slim line we have a little birthday tiger again a tutu this one really looking forward to making that that is a cat with flowers and little macaron cakes there. Perfect for a slim line again. You've got like ocean wavy bubbles. You can cut three pieces. Just layer those up. If you've got boats and stuff, you can pop those there. We have another gorgeous unicorn. That's either a unicorn or a horse. And it's got roses and flowers. So I need to make that one up. And then we've got... Um, I think it's called, is it a narwhal? You know, sort of whaley thing with, with a, a unicorn horn. I don't know, it's Friday. I think it's a narwhal. And then we get back into cakes. Just look at the size of those. They're just going to be fabulous. Weddings, birthdays, you name it. They are huge. All different styles. Oh, now you've got one on a pedestal with lots of drippy icing and i'm trying to think what that says ah it spells out happy birthday so you've actually got the happy birthday sentiment to go on top of your cake here's another cake on a pedestal tiny little strawberries with that one and then you've got a beaded cake perfect three tier for a wedding and then we've got a super drippy cake lots of frosting on that one and ah oh, yeah now you're in my realm a cat in a donut yes we all need a cat in a donut i'm looking forward to making that one here's a seriously cute one martini glass shaker you've got the straw you've got the bow you've got the lemon or the lime there whatever it is you want to do with that and of course things like this can be used all on their own and another one I'm looking forward to making, a beautiful little vintage tea set with a little bouquet of roses to go with it. Now we have the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. I showed you the Lion Man, I think, first up. And there we have the Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz. Looking forward to doing that collection. I'm just going to use... Um, an embossing folder that's got a brick design and do that with yellow cardstock so that they'll be able to stand on the yellow brick road and then we have a little rabbit in an easter basket with little carrots to go in the basket and then we have a seriously cute little character dressed up there in a little bunny rabbit outfit right i think we're halfway there and then more gnomes this is a valentine one it's got the sentiment love with it another gnome with a big heart another one for valentine's day now we've got some steampunk just check this out and as i said to you the other day when i found all my gilding polishes instead of using the scratch board i'm going to attempt to do all these just using the gilding polish so that i can use some cheap white cardstock instead so there's a gorgeous clock key and that's another clock key, different design. 
And then we have a absolutely fabulous steampunk dragonfly. Look at all the detail in that. And then it's got the lock that um, is part of the body. We have another clock key. I hope I'm fitting these all in. I need to spread them out so that they're uh, fitting. And then we have a butterfly which has the key for the body. That is absolutely gorgeous. And then we have some religious. Now, I don't know who these characters are, whether they're um, the three wise kings. I think they probably are. There's a crown and there's a gift. And that would be, I believe, the other um, of the three wise kings. And then we have a shepherd with a sheep. Perfect for Christmas, these. And then I believe that one is an angel. Or it may even be Mary. And then we have a rabbit with its little stripy shorts. Great for Easter again. Cute little dicky bow. We have a gorgeous sort of like retro style deer that's lying on top of a puffy little cloud. I'm looking forward to doing that one. I love my deers. Perfect for a slim line, this one, because the elephant sits on top of the rainbow. So that's going to give you a huge amount of height on your card. Another cute little deer here with a tiny little bird standing on its back. I think it goes on the back or the tail or maybe even on the head. Who knows? I don't know what that bit is yet, but I will find out. And then we've got a gorgeous little unicorn and a little puffy cloud. They've got those real cute faces. I think this one is a corgi dog in amongst all those flowers. You've got roses and daisies and greenery there. Then we have another little unicorn. Very simple. Nice big chunky piece here that goes on the face. And then all of the elements you can see that just stick into the embossed areas. Then we have a dragon, very cute, little wings. And now we have another little angel with a halo. These are perfect for christenings, for Christmas, and even as sympathy cards for children. I think sometimes, you know, when, when there's been a tragedy in a family, a lot of people kind of neglect that kids sometimes need a card too. There you've got a gorgeous little Easter rabbit with a little pinny on there. We've got an Easter truck with a sentiment, Happy Easter. I'll do that one next week. I'm still going. We've got a little Easter girl with an Easter basket. We've got cute girls here with lots of little birds. So I'm thinking that she's feeding the birds from her basket. Another cute girl with a witchy poo hat and a witchy boot. So that one's very Halloween. And then we've got a sort of springtime girl with a pinafore and a big sun hat. Another one with a Santa hat. This one is seriously cute. Got angel wings. And look at that hair. That hair is gorgeous. Another girl, similar style, big star and little bows for the hair. And another one in a springtime dress with basket and lots of flowers that I assume will go into that basket. And now we have, I'm not sure what that bird is. Poss yeah, it's a hummingbird, isn't it? With that crescent there. And then you've got the hibiscus flowers. And then we've got a crescent with flowers. Another hummingbird with flowers. And I think that's just a sort of like floral, yeah, it's lilies and reeds, I think, and buds. And that's just a, a circular one to go on a card. This one is absolutely glorious. It's a steampunk dashand, dashand, however you say it. And then we have another one. I'm trying to figure that out. I can see a bird's wing. Oh, yeah, it goes that way. It's a clockwork owl. And then we've got another one, which, ah, a clockwork mouse in a top hat. How gorgeous is that? I mean, if you love your steampunk, these are glorious. And then we've got that fabulous, it's either a crow or a woodpecker. I'm not sure. But another one with a clock. And then we have a footballing girl. 
and we have a graduating girl and we have a footballing boy and then we have it's either a boy or a girl whichever you decide sitting in an aeroplane and then we have a girl with a hula hoop which is quite cute I haven't seen anything like that before and then we have autumn type deer bear and little squirrel and rabbit there those are really sweet very folk art I'm losing my voice aren't I <laughs> And now we've got a little medical set for a doctor. You've got coronavirus, you've got lungs. This will go into one of the prize bags because, as you know, even though I know it's a terrible thing, I just don't put it in my crafting. My crafting is about joy. Here we've got a ballet dancer, super cute. Another ballet dancer with a different hairstyle. Another ballet dancer. And this one, which is kind of oddly weird, very geometric, look very nice, I think, for mixed media. If you cut several out, put it down on a page, some gesso and then, you know, some pastels or watercolour over it. It's going to give you some great dimension there on a journal page or some mixed media on a canvas. This one, I just haven't got a clue. I keep looking at it and I'm thinking, is it a melon or a cucumber? And then it's got this little outfit. So I need to go away and figure that one out. But it looks cute. And then we've got a couple of little aliens here or snails and they look like they're doing Kung Fu. And then I've got a bar of chocolate with all its little bits and its little bit of melted chocolate. And then I've got a grandparents' day, which is nanny and grandpa there. And then I have a gorgeous shaped sort of like offset rainbow and clouds. Right, I'm grabbing the last bundle out of the box now. And that looks like a panda bear in a box because I can see some bamboo here. I think that one is a penguin with balloons. I've got a bear here with more bamboo. I've got a dinosaur T-Rex coming out of a toy box, which is pretty awesome. Great for a little boy. I've got a little piggy chef who's got sausages and a, a little chef's hat and his little apron there. Try and push those down over there. And now I'm in space. Yes. Astronaut and planets. I think that might be Saturn with those rings. Another astronaut and rocket. Astronaut and moon. Things like this, you know, they're, they're great to cut. If you can get one of those big, long, thin frames from Dollar Tree and cut out three or four of these and just make them up and line them up in your frame, they look great on somebody's wall. And then you've got one with planet again or moon. Another rocket. This time he's playing his guitar. And then we have one with a bit of a moon and you've got the flag to pop in there and your astronaut. More astronaut and moon. Here we have a springtime cutie girl with a huge hat. And I think that's a butterfly that might sit on top of a hat. I'm not sure. As I said, I will try and find the links for all these. Another cute girl. Another cute girl hugging a teddy bear. Little angel, little sweet one there. There are the wings. Then I get to, I do not have a clue what that is. I just do not have a clue. All I can see is this looks like lots of stitching and drapery. If you know what that is, you can give me a message down below. And there's another one. Ah, these must be the layering up of their robes because that's another shepherd. Yeah, because there's a cute little sheep. And then I have another shepherd. That might be Mary or Joseph to go with the other one that I showed you. And then another shepherd, another angel. Here we've got a little bear with its honey pot. 
Ah, there we are. Baby Jesus with the crib. And that's the hay there. And then we have another religious character. That one, I believe, is Jesus. And there you've got the sacred heart. So you've got a tiny little sacred heart that you can cut out and put into the top section of the robe there. And then we have a yellow submarine, which um, that three part layering that I showed you, that would probably go well with that. And then I have a teacup, which I believe sits on something that looks spilt with a load of leaves. It might be mint tea. Then we have, I believe, a teeny weeny little angel. This one is another love gnome because it's got the hearts there and it's also holding a little notebook. I'm going to have to push some of these out of the way. Getting a bit close to the camera. We have another, I think, little angel. Another gnome with lots of hearts on its hat. And this one has got ice cream cones. So that's cute. And then we have a, another love gnome. And it's holding what looks like a sort of marquee neon sign. So that one looks great fun. Another gnome holding a gift. Another cute little girl with a great hairstyle there. I think those are her shoes. Yeah, those are the bow areas of the shoes. And another little cute one. Now, looking at the shape of the hair and everything, that one, yeah, there's the holly and the berries. So that one is Christmas. Right, I am at the end. And that took me 22 minutes to get through. Right, so I'm spreading them out. And... Uh, Maybe I need to grab a few handfuls. Let me pause while I just take these off the desk. Right, so cleared all that out of the way. And I've got my ruler so that I can measure what I have used. And to do my projects today, I've used the MX Art Engraved Alphabet. That's absolutely gorgeous, I can tell you now. I have used the... Um, whoops. See, I'm spilling bits already. I've used the uh, Skinny Decks, which I designed. So that's from MX Art. And I've also used the Surprise Creation Slimline Double Set. And I've used the Coin Edge. And I've also used the Surprise Creation Coin Edge or Dash Edge uh, circles there. I've used a few of those. So I'll just pop those underneath. And I hope that my camera is showing okay right so from the dies that i've received i've used a pig with a little bow which is now a bag of bits i've used a pig in a tutu which is now a bag of bits i've used a little rabbit sitting there in his t-shirt also a bag of bits i've used the big hugs circle die i am going to measure these and this comes with um, the sentiment autumn and grateful attached i had to put that in there so that i didn't lose it and then i've also used the birthday one which comes with let me turn it around thankful and blessed so you know you can kind of like go through your seasons with a different sort of like style of sentiment inside off i quite like those i think they're clever and then i've used a frill edge heart which cuts out a whole heart and just embosses that section into it would be beautiful cut in foil and i have also used a rosette die right so i'm going to measure this made up so that you know how big a rosette that it makes and that is the first one. So there it is using that gold paper from one of those scary packs the other day. And it's the barbed wire one. But isn't that pretty? Just really easy to make. And the dimension when done is, tilt it towards myself, it's a four inch rosette. 
so really simple really pretty obviously if you want two different colors all you have to do is um, cut them out and then shorten just by chopping off the straight edge and then lining them up and you'll have a two-tone rosette there really really easy to do and I cut four to create this one you can certainly get away with three and have it more fanned out but this one is kind of nice and tightly done so that is the rosette die next up I use the pig with the bow and also the happy birthday going on to the coin edge circle there isn't that absolutely gorgeous I love that it's just so cute right so first of all then the sentiments are four and three quarter inches so and it cuts out a whole circle underneath there it doesn't just cut a frame it's a whole piece as you can see and I've got my pads underneath and now I'm going to measure out that little piggy because it's made up and three and a half inches just a little bit over and I did make this according to the website so got to go from its bow there over to its nose and that's three and three quarter inches just over but isn't that cute I just think that's so sweet and I'll tell you what's annoying when I finished doing it I noticed that little emboss bit there I should have put another dot there but I didn't so I'm confessing <laughs> Right, next up is using one of these round sentiment frames again, but this time big hugs and with that little bear in his T-shirt. Just really, really sweet. And now you already know how big these are because I measured that one. So I'm just going to do the bear. And of course, you can place the heart wherever you want to that comes with this bear. That is three and three quarter inches. And then his width. So I've got to go from his hand to his ear just over two and three quarter inches but I've just placed this onto uh, round cardstock I've got a little bit of something there but you can um, once you've done this you can lay it straight on to a square if you want to or you can use my easel die and just crop that with a circle and it'll be perfectly hidden behind there and that can just be the card that stands up or you can make a very nice large easel card so that one is the bear so we've got bear we've got pig and now we're going into this one this one really makes me smile I have to tell you so here she is bless her and a poor clover <laughs> Look at that. Look at that tutu. The way she's kicking out her back leg. Oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I used a little scrap of paper that um I had left that I'd cut one of Surprise Creation's wavy edge uh, slim lines from. And so I thought that would make a very nice sort of like edge for a stage. So I did it in that grey plank. Those hearts come with that die. Look at her expression. Her tutu, what I did was I cut several and made curtains at the top so that my skinny decks, and she looks like she's on the stage, I used loads of Zootone crystals on there. She's just absolutely fabulous. And of course, on all of these characters today, to get that shade in, my Touch 5 in Cool Grey 1. That's what I used. And this is Joanne's pearlized cardstock. And if I move it around, you can see the shimmer on it. But isn't that cute? Oh, just so silly. There she is in all her glory, bless her. The moment she's been waiting for. <laughs> right, next up is using the frill heart. I am going to go back and measure that. In fact, I'll do it now before I forget. Because it's Friday, you see, and uh, I get confused. <laughs> it doesn't take much to get me confused. Right, I'm going to say that that is three and three quarter inches. And then I'm going to say the height of it is, take it to the ear tops there, just under three inches. But I just think she's just adorable. Can't wait to put that one in my box. And as I said, next up, Frill Heart and the Engraved Alphabet, done in gold. 
that gorgeous gold glitter paper there is out of the um, Unicorn and Rainbows pack, Die Cuts with a View from Tuesday morning. And there's that frill heart. Isn't that pretty? All of that cardstock there, here and here, Tuesday morning. This one came out of a... Um, Die Cuts with a View foil pack, I think, yeah. And so that would have been Tuesday morning. But isn't it lovely? Just so simple. Just a really, really simple slimline card. And those letters, they just pop. I absolutely love that alphabet. I'm going to be using a lot of that at Christmas. And also birthday cards. You know, if you like sort of like animal and circus themes, it just reminds you of the vintage Cirque alphabet. Great for Halloween as well, because you can cut it in black and get your white gel pen and just go around the bits that you want in white. So that is what I got for you. And I'm going to measure the heart. And I know where it is behind there. That is three and a half inches by three inches. But isn't it pretty? You can see that lovely frilly detail up there. Absolutely love it. Right, this has been a very long video for me. It might take me 10 years to upload it now. But anyway, I am going to be up on Monday. I do not have a clue what I'm going to be up with on Monday. But I can tell you that there's going to be a couple of times during towards the end of the week next week that I'm going to be doing MX Art again because there are some seriously cute things in there. Right, you have an absolutely wonderful weekend. We are, I think, going to have a warm one here. So I'm going to be out in the garden again, hopefully not injuring myself. So have a fabulous weekend. As usual, all links below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.